And hello! It's Ray. This is how I uh, introduce myself. Welcome to a place that no one is really ever <laughs> welcome. It's not sure I have had people in my studio once. But I seem to let you guys in here pretty often. I have posted many time lapses and I'm always filming in here and stuff and all my pictures and I just am really kind of in general always in here. Okay, so when I moved down to my studio space I needed to have like just kind of reset up reinvent things in a way that I could like efficiently move around, keep painting, keep my momentum going. I needed stuff that was affordable. Um, also, I mean, I am working, this is a small corner of the room. I'm working at a medium sized space, I'd say. Um, not as big as some, not as small as some, but I th I have most of my setup in this one corner, so um, like the rest is just like paintings around and stuff. So I think when most people want to set up their studio, they need like they they need to be able to set up in a small space. And I found it just so yeah, it just happened. It didn't even like I didn't plan it like this. Just like most things in life, IKEA happened. Things just kept popping up. Me, well, I was figuring out what I need. I wasn't like exclusively being like I need IKEA, but it's just like I'm there. I'm like, oh, this will work for this. I need something like this. Let me check IKEA. Okay, so this is basically my um, studio IKEA hacks because I'm going to show you the things that I use that I found uses for that work really well in a smaller space and just being like effective in my painting process and hopefully some of it can help you if you're unsure um, and on a budget and how to set up a space to make some stuff and create and have a good time. Okay, let's get started. There's just gonna this gonna go from some like bigger things to just some little random things that you might need in your studio. And I am not even gonna cover all of it. I'm covering a small bit, but if you want to see more, I'll make a second video. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so the very first things that I found super helpful was actually these shelves right here, which you probably noticed. Um, they are amazing. Right off the bat, bought three of them because when I saw them, I was like, yes, they're they're perfect. They're narrow. So what they are. And I can't, off the top of my head, give you like prices and names of things from Ikea because, well, A, I'm not a numbers person, and B, the names, you know the names. Okay, but you're going to know what I'm talking about. So these are picture um, ledges, like shelves, that are just to hold like little picture frames and stuff like that. And what's great about it is anytime you buy a shelf, they're usually deep, right? So it's... It doesn't make sense because then when you need something, you're digging back there for it. Um, so for me, this was like so perfect that I went out and bought more and actually I think like one more over there. Um, they come in different styles and colors, which is cool, and different prices. Like I think they get fancier and not fancier. Plain, or I think mine are just like simple, basic and plain. And they fit all the way up. But like these, they fit like my little golden stuff. I'm going to try to, I'll put in a picture or something of um, them closer up, but like, I mean, they hold all the way up until these sizes, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and it doesn't jut up out, so it doesn't take up too much, um, like, area, because it, it's, they're like, here, this is how I measure things. <laughs> They come out like that much. So yeah, that's the first thing. I think that as far as IKEA hacks go, it wasn't made to hold things like this, but it works better than anything else. Okay, moving along. Um, the second, some of the second, I don't know what order I purchased everything in, but um, I'm gonna need to move you down one second. Okay, so the next thing that I found was uh, 
great. And again, I'll show you like a picture. Like, yeah. Okay, but we've all seen these carts. I use them not only, you can see, like to store my tubes of paints and stuff I use regularly. Um, but what's great about them is I will often only have, I won't have tables around me. Um, sometimes, depending on what I'm painting. I have two of these. This is the next thing that's great. The other thing that's great about Ikea is that like, you can get literally everything on wheels. So I can just push these away when I need space. Um, I use this as my table, which is great because as I am painting, I will be using specific um, colors that I want to keep like in mind you know, so you can go back, reach, grab them again. So I will literally just have this kind of uh, set up as I'm going so that I can continually have it just like right beside me when I'm painting and um, just keep grabbing the colors that I need that are there. And like, I'll even have just like, like my, <laughs> my water that I'm drinking. Rest on top. So they are awesome and they do hold a lot. So yeah you can you can store whatever uh rags brushes okay so the next thing that i then i felt like sometimes i needed more of a hold on. Okay, i'm just gonna try it like this because it'll give you a better idea so i wanted like a permanent table sometimes and um, what is, I, I'm gonna come down here with you. Okay, what I love about this, and it is on wheels, like on one edge. This is just like a little kitchen cart. Again, it was just like on the less expensive side of things. Um, and I like, it's narrow, it's tall. I'm a tall person, so I mean, that's a bonus, but they had them in different heights. Um, I got the tallest one specifically for that reason. Um, but I will, I usually don't use both the rolling cart shelf things and this. I usually use one or the other, but I'll have this beside me. And um, I have the, if you watch that first or second video, the, the little tub where I store my brushes as I work. I have my palette, it fits perfectly up here that I make. And then I have like the jars quickly and easily I can access. So it's just really, um, it just keeps me moving. I don't have to do a lot of like, oh, put my brushes or the water or whatever, whatever. I don't know, stuff like that. Which brings me to my next, my next IKEA hack. Um, this, I own a couple of these. I like to, they are just garbage cans from IKEA. They're plastic and they hold my water. I usually have one with like dirty water, one with clean water. I like having it near the well, water near me. And I like to throw my brushes too, just in a bigger pail. You might use a smaller jar for me, it just isn't working. So I usually keep it one that I can keep loading up if I need water. Just really, um, I don't know how long it'll last. I always am hoping it's not gonna all thing up. But <laughs> so far, it's been good. Okay. So some of the littler items I found that are really helpful to have in a studio that I always have that I found at Ikea, um, whether I had them before or just got them. Um, the spray bottles here, um, they hang nicely on these shelves too, just a note. Oh, and the shelves have like a little outer lip I'll show you. You probably know, you, go, you can go there and see but which keeps things from like just falling off randomly. Um, these hook on, so the spray bottles, they're just like in their gardening center. I'm always using a funnel, you might not, but for me, I buy large containers and I have to continually be putting them into small containers. So I used to just um, go for it <laughs> and it usually left a big puddle of medium. So funnels are good and Ikea has them. So that's another, another, little item that I found very helpful and unintentionally actually I have uh, picked up a few of these for plants and I found that I used them more to hold like my palette knives um, random pens I like that they're not super deep or super narrow it's just easy to get at 
So that's those hacks and I have one last thing I will show you. Okay. Like honestly when I was going through my studio thinking what IKEA hacks can I show you that I've used because I know I've done a lot, I did not realize how many I had. Okay. So the last thing, which I did kind of use in my last workspace and because um, I work a lot at night, I haven't yet got like lighting and stuff like that installed, proper stuff. It is in the plan. I just don't get around to things. Um, anyways, I have found um, four lights, no, well two different lights at Ikea um, that if I balance them on either side of me, they just have a really, um, they work really well. So I'm going to show you those. Um, okay, here is one you've probably seen. It's just a paper. It's like literally like 12 bucks or something like that. I always have to like continually be adjusting them. Um, I have two of these. So one on either side of my room. I will try to take a full picture of my studio. That will give you an idea how it's set up. I have one on either side of where I'm working so it balances out the light and um, just to have the paper around the edges it gives me a diffuse light it's not like a like it's not um, harsh it's diffuse like it spreads out like like if you were to use a soft box to take a picture or whatever it spreads out the light so I used to just use those two when I was upstairs because I also had better lighting the ceiling lighting sucks completely um, but then I picked these up and they also up are stuck it's plugged in <laughs> that would be an issue of course it's plugged in it's on I knew that okay <laughs> really I did believe me because I'm trying to convince you okay so these spotlights you can see them they come in yellow and white um, I don't know if that matters uh, <laughs> they are also I find you can you can fit a high wattage of like bulb in here um, but they also have this like plastic diffusing uh, cover for it so nothing too, it's nothing too harsh again I think my lights are a bit too warm in here I would like like a, a cooler um, light bulb but that's not too hard so I have these balanced out again in like basically the exact same coming there they're both coming at like an angle like this 30 degrees? Jeepers. Why did I even try to attempt that? Um, so, yeah, um, with having the equal amount, so if the light bulbs are all equal and everything like that, I find there's not um, much reflection and it's just well lit. And in fact, when the sun comes up and I have my window, it's, well, it's a small window, but it doesn't work as well. So, yeah, I hope some of those help. I think it's a great setup for a small room. Um, if you're and if you're just getting started because I mean it's like you can't just invest in all this huge stuff and I mean I do this all day every day and I still don't really need too much more I would rather put my money into supplies and uh, and paints and stuff like that so yeah I think I covered everything and if you have any questions just ask and yeah um, let me know in the comments if you what you have in your studio that you have found that really works well whether you found it at Ikea or not and what nope that was that was the only thing and I'm gonna keep um, just giving you some videos that's gonna get you started in your art and then when we get to there we'll figure out if we're gonna go further if you do need like exact names of things I'll think about it <laughs> that's a big commitment uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helps and like comment and surprise surprise like comment and surprise I like that better surprise I just want to get to painting it's my painting time so I'm gonna do that They're like this, and then my canvas is there.